Dinox Tech Reviews number 53. Dinox and Kitty J reviews Hyrule Warrior Legends for the Nintendo 3DS. Hello YouTube, this is Dinox Kun speaking once again, and today I'm here with my female gamer friend, Kitty J. Hello everyone, I am a Lopony as you can see. And today, me and her are going to be reviewing Hyrule Warriors Legend on the Nintendo 3DS that just came out a few months ago, on March 2016. But before we get to Hyrule Warriors Legends, my friend Kitty J is going to be explaining the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors and then do a little comparison on it. So how about you get started Kitty J? Okay, no problem. Hyrule Warriors is a very different experience from a Zelda game. This is a version on which you can defend your kingdom from invading forces like Dynasty Warriors. The way you do certain missions help you keep the kingdoms in order. However, instead of the usual Ganondorf being the bad guy in any Zelda game, this time it is Sia. Sia is a witch that is very much obsessed with the hero of time, also known as Link. She wants to own him and have him by her side forever. She wants to disrupt the cycle of the hero of time and the other cycles of the Triforce. As for non-DLC characters that you can use, I always use Princess Rudo and Girahim. They are both fast and their specials are fun to use to destroy hundreds of enemies at once. To unlock them, you need to do special missions in the game using any of the special maps, which include Master Quest Map, Twilight Map, and Terminal Map. You can beat the main story, but you won't unlock them unless you do this. The missions are fun and challenging. I remember one of the missions that I played that you had a certain amount of minutes to kill a certain amount of bad guys in order to unlock one of the characters. Using the DLC characters, I was thrilled to find out that Twilight Minna was coming out. She has always been my favorite character of mine since Twilight Princess came out for the GameCube. She plays as a fast floating character that uses her Twilight Mirror to fight. She was the first character that I maxed out in this game. Overall, this is a great game to play with the DLC. However, once you're done with everything in the main story and the DLC, I found it hard to replay the game from the start. So I finished the game and I didn't touch it until Hyrule Warriors Legends was announced. Now for the actual review of Hyrule Warriors Legends for the 3DS. The main objective in Hyrule Warriors Legends, just like the Wii U counterpart, is to take on a wide variety of missions to defeat certain enemies or preventing your allied base from being destroyed. You will normally have 60 minutes for equals to 1 hour to pass the entire level. I say that sure is plenty of time to do everything you have to do. There are levels that will require you not only to ensure that the allied base does not get taken over by enemies, but also sometimes you must prevent certain characters from dying. If you fail to protect any of them, then you are defeated and you have the option to start the level again from the beginning or continue from your progress from the last checkpoint. In order to take over an enemy's base which are called keeps, you will have to defeat several enemies in the base until the red life bar has been completely depleted. Then a keep boss will appear which once you defeat, the red enemy keep will turn blue and you will have control of that territory. Thankfully the keep boss is extremely easy to defeat. Now let's explain some of the characters unique battle weapons and what you can do with them. I will only go through a handful of characters since there are a total of 28 playable characters in this game. But Kitty J will at least explain who all those 28 characters are in their respective categories. Take it away. The Hyrule Warrior characters that show up in this game that are non-DLC are the following. Link, Zelda, Impa, Sheik, Girahem, Sia, Volgo, Wizro, Lana, Tarunia, Ruro, Agatha, Ganondorf, Midna, Zant, Fi. In the 3DS versions, they have Linko, Skull Kid, Tomb Link, Tetra, King Daphne, also known as King of Red Lions, Metli, and Marin. And the characters that are DLC are the following. Twilight Midna, Young Link, Tinko, Ganon Pig Mode, or the piggy version you could say, and Cuckoo, the chicken. You all know that Link uses the Hylian Sword. There's even an option that he can use the elemental rods as well. Impa, which is Zelda's bodyguard, can use a huge blade. Lana, the character exclusive to Hyrule Warrior, uses the Book of Sorcery and can be switched to a spear if you want to. Zelda uses the rapier, Minna uses the shackle, and Sheik uses her harp. There are different versions of each weapon like the fire rod 
and the 8-bit wooden sword with their own specific effects. So be sure to experiment each character with their weapon so you can find out what's perfect for your gameplay. When you're being down enemies, the yellow bar on the top left corner will slowly fill up. Once it does, press the A button to activate your unique focus spirit attack. While you progress during the game, you encounter support weapons that can help you overcome some obstacles during the game by pressing the R button. The bomb lets you blow enemies as well as boulders to smithereens that can release some rupees, hearts, or other useful items. The arrow takes out those pesky poisonous plants that has a venomous barrier preventing you from executing close range attacks against it. And the Orcarina helps you teleport from one checkpoint statue to another once activated. Very useful to get you where you need to be much quicker. The music in this game were actually ripped directly from the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors and it actually sounds great and in great quality. As well as sound effects, they did a great job importing all the sounds to the small 3DS handheld. Well, you know it's obvious that this being the 3DS version that the graphics are downgraded from the Wii U version. But honestly, while playing this game, I have noticed that some of the graphics are quite blocky and pixelated. It still looks decently well for the 3DS version and was able to blend in just great. But like many people say, graphics does not make the game. This game is still fantastic itself. You can play Hyrule Warriors Legends in three different ways. One is the Legends mode that lets you experience the whole story of the series. In free mode, you can play any stages you want with any characters you want. This sure is a good way to level up certain character that hardly ever appears in Legends mode. And last but not least, Adventure mode. It features a retro style mode where you have to find and defeat the Dark Ruler. It helps you to acquire heart containers, new weapons, power up your warriors, and also unlock new warriors to add to your roster. In between missions and by pressing R, you are able to access the bazaar which gives you the opportunity to pay rupees to gain new badges to power up your characters, and the training dojo to pay rupees to level up a few levels. The Apothecary allows you to take mysterious mixtures that can be usable for one full battle. Then there's the Smithy where you can fuse weapons to have additional special effects that you can modify. You do have to pay some rupees to fuse the weapons though. You are also allowed to remove and appraise skills as well as selling unneeded weapons. In the start screen of Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as the Wii U counterpart, you may scan any amiibo you want to receive different random items, weapons, and rupees daily. Although you could only receive 5 different items daily from 5 different amiibos scanned. Also, if you scan a Link, Zelda, Toon Link, Ganondorf, or Sheik amiibo, you can receive specific weapons for the specific Zelda amiibo you have scanned. To conclude this review, I really enjoyed this version of Hyrule Warriors and I hope to get to the Wii U version soon enough, even if it's pretty much the same game with enhanced graphics. Sadly, I do not own the new 3DS to fully enjoy this game like it was meant to be, but regardless, it's still quite playable on my 2DS. Thankfully, Kitty J gave me the opportunity to use her new 3DS to compare the performance of the game between my regular 3DS and her new 3DS as you can see here. The game runs smoothly on the new 3DS, however the huge difference to play it on my normal 3DS was very noticeable. The lag kept me from wanting to play it on the normal 3DS. Apart from that, I was enjoying this version more due to the many improvements of the game itself. It wasn't as confusing as the Wii U version when I played it. In the normal game, it didn't explain how to get the new weapons or costume. I was lost for a while until I looked up a guide in line in order how to do it. You can change characters on this version of the game and thus are able to multitask the missions. On the Wii U version, you couldn't change the characters. The AI characters have improved in keeping their support throughout all the forts, and they can handle harder enemies than they could in the Wii U version. I played for a few hours with all the modes and such. This one beats the Wii U version by a long shot. Apart from the game looking beautiful, the main characters are much more helpful and the map system has been improved immensely. If you are a fan of the original Hyrule Warriors and the Dynasty Warriors franchise, you will feel right at home with this game. I do notice some lags once in a while when playing this game on my normal 3DS, but at least it's not to the point that it's completely unplayable, so just tell you so you won't be discouraged from playing this game just because you do not own a newer 3DS. So we give Hyrule Warriors Legends for the Nintendo 3DS an 8 
out of 10. This game is an expansion of the original Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U on a smaller handheld system. Works well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check my other previous videos as well and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And join our new Facebook community called the Dinox Series Fan Club where you can meet new people who are into tech, Nintendo, anime, amiibos, and related. See you there!